What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Apologize, there was no flea market video this weekend. Um, I mentioned before that I was going out of town, so unfortunately I didn't go to the flea market, which means there wasn't gonna be any footage. So I don't have a flea market video to upload this weekend, so instead what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and do my entire vintage t-shirt collection. So before we get started, there's three things that I'm into, video games, anime, and cars. So you're gonna see a lot of that stuff. And then I have a couple like miscellaneous things thrown in as well. I did have a lot more than this. I've been selling stuff off slowly that I just didn't wear or didn't really plan on wearing so I'm gonna just go through and show you guys everything that I have so I'll start with the video gaming tees because I'm pretty sure that's the biggest stack I have so the very first one is the Dino Crisis 3 shirt right here the nice back graphic and then you got the Dino Crisis Capcom on the front I'm not gonna go too much into detail on each one because I'll be here forever I say that and then this one comes up so this one I'm gonna talk about this a little bit because I'm pretty sure this is probably one of my most rarest tees I have in my collection and that is the WarioWare Incorporated tee right here for the Game Boy Advance. I've got more swag than you. So I say that because what I've, from what I've heard, this tee was only available at E3 in 2003, I wanna say. So from what I hear, from what people tell me, this is a pretty hard tee to find. And the best thing about this one is it's actually dead stock. It's never been worn, I haven't yet to wear it. I am gonna wear it eventually, I just don't know when. But I'm pretty sure this is one of my rarest tees in the collection. And the way I got that tee and a couple of the other video gaming tees you're gonna see, I actually found somebody who set up at E3s and conventions in the late 90s early 2000s so he had a whole garage full of these tees just sitting there brand new dead stock from back then and since i was buying so many from him he was giving me good deals on them so a lot of these gaming tees i got dead stock brand new for like 20 to 40 bucks depending on the shirt the next four are all from the persona series if you guys know it's my favorite video game series super excited about persona 3 getting a re-release but the first one is the persona dancing all night tee right here the persona 4 tee right here which i think this was a pre-order item whenever you pre-ordered the game the persona 4 arena and persona 4 golden tee right there and then the persona 4 tee right here as well and this was from the original ps2 release of the game next t is the legend of zelda twilight princess t right here i want to say this one also comes in black we got the eternal darkness gamecube t right here on the back do you hear the voices the legend of zelda ocarina of time t right there Ocarina of Time logo down there. This is probably one of my favorite tees in my collection, but we got the Mario 64 tee right here. And this one is actually a Toys R Us tee. You got Toys R Us spelled out on the sleeve and it is on the Lee tag. This one did come from that guy I mentioned that I got a lot of tees from, but this one I did pay up on. It was dead stock as well, but like I said, I've wore a lot of these already. This one I kind of paid up on. And then another one that I have, I'm gonna show you guys, I paid up on that I've yet to wear, mostly because I can't fit it, <laughs> but I'm working on that. The Donkey Kong Country 3 tee right here. You just got the little graphic right there on the chest. I wish there was something more on this one, but it's what it is. We got the Street Fighter Alpha 3 T. You got the little logo right there on the chest, but the best part is the back on this one. You got Ryu and Bison going at it. We got the Tekken 5 T right there with just the logo on the front. The Doom 64 T. Every time I wear this one, I always got people staring at the back of this one. <laughs> Next up, we got the Crash Warp T right there. On the back, you got the graphic. This is the second one that I was talking about I did pay up on, but it is one of my favorite games of all time. So I had to grab it, even though it is a little bit small, but I, like I said, I am working on that. <laughs> But it's the Conker's Bad Fur Day promo tee right here. And that one is a large, I needed an XL. But for whatever reason, all these Conker tees only came in large. And again, this one's brand new. But the only reason it's brand new is just because I can't fit it yet anyway. But when I can, it will definitely get worn. We got the Eidos Interactive tee right here. The best part about this one is the graphic on the back where you got Laura Croft, Gex, and whoever that is. And this is probably my other favorite tee in my collection, like I said the all over print Donkey Kong 64 T. And then on the back, you have He's Back. <laughs> we got a Resident Evil 4 T, Nintendo on the sleeve. And you got the little logo right there on the back of the neck. Another one that's dead stock I have yet to wear. We got the Star Wars Pod Racer T right here. So this one is dead stock as well, but I had planned to wear this one before though. I just don't really like the way it fits. For whatever reason, the shoulders and the sleeves are really long on this one. We got the Final Fantasy 7 T, Cloud on the back, only on PlayStation, Squaresoft on the sleeve and Final Fantasy on the titty. We got the Nintendo Play It Loud T, Power Fest 1994, all over print on the back. You got Play It Loud. Guess it's not really a T, but we got the Mario Strikers jersey right here for the GameCube. GameCube logo on the right sleeve. 
and on the back you got Mario number one. Next is the Sonic 3D Blast tee right here. You just got Sonic on the back and then the little logo on the chest. We got the Blitz shirt right here, property of Midway. And on the back you have NFL Blitz. Next is the NFL Quarterback Club 99 tee. I consider this a 64 tee just because it has a 64 logo on there. Acclaimed on both sleeves. This tee I haven't seen pop up anywhere else. It's the Capcom tee, but on the back, you have like a whole bunch of different Capcom games and like the release dates of each of them. This is another one that's brand new. I just haven't wore this one yet either. Then we got the Clock Tower 3 shirt with the big graphic on the back, Clock Tower on the chest, and then Capcom on the sleeve, which is cool because usually the Capcom's on the chest. Grand Theft Auto San Andreas tee with the Rockstar logo on the back of the neck, Grand Theft Auto on the sleeve. We got the Tekken tee right here, Namco on the chest, and then on the back, Tekken's Nina Williams, Death by Degrees. And then the last game tea I still have in my collection is actually a recent one I just got and that is the Spinal Killer Instinct tea right there. Super Nintendo era. Next up, I'm gonna do the wrestling stuff. We got what a lot of people consider the best WrestleMania of all time, WrestleMania 17. And then on the back, Houston, we got a problem with the logo up there on the neck. We got the NWO Wolfpack tee right here in the red and then another NWO, NWO Wolfpack tee right there in black. This one, you got the wolves on the front. Then we got the Triple H T on the back. Screw the rules, play the game. We got the CM Punk Nexus T right here, which is one I don't really see too often. The Nexus logo on the sleeve. And then you got the CM Punk graphic on the back. I know he's been kind of a topic of discussion in AEW recently, but this was a different era. The Stone Cold Steve Austin. I did it the hard way T. We got this WCW NWO like lottery T with just a bunch of different wrestlers on it. We got the Steam T right there, like his signature on it. One of my favorite wrestlers of all time. We got the Jeff Hardy T. This was the cover of uh, his documentary movie that came out. We got another CM Punk T. One of my favorite CM Punk T's, the like rib cage, straight edge, hardcore. CM Punk spelled out on the back. We got the Raising Kane T. Not Raising Kane's, but Raising Kane. He's on fire on the front. And on the back, you got Welcome to My Nightmare. The DDP T right there, Diamond Dallas Page, Self High Five. We got the Goldberg T right there. I know some of his recent run has been kind of whatever, but this was when Goldberg was a monster. We got Stone Cold Steve Austin's The Condemned, the movie that he did. And on the back, you got The Condemned. And then the last wrestling tee I have, I actually thought I lost this one recently. I could not find it nowhere and I found it in the corner like behind my bed. I don't know how I got back there, but the Mick Foley literature has a whole new face tee. Then you have the spell out on the front for that one. So that was it for the wrestling tees. Now moving on to the car stuff. We got the Chevy racing tee right here on the back, built for speed. The Dale Earnhardt Jr. NASCAR tee right there. Then on the back, we got the big graphic as well. The 1995 Brickyard 400 T. Nothing too crazy on this one. You got the little logo on the front, on the Toltex tag. The big print Charlotte Motor Speedway T right there. Nothing on the back of that one, which I thought was really weird. And then the most recent one, I got the Bill Elliott like McDonald's racing shirt right there. And then on the back, you got Bill Elliott number 94. Next up, nothing too crazy. We got the Honda Racing T right there. The Chevelle Brute Force T from 95. We got the Nissan Zs right there. My dream car actually is a 240Z. And then for the longest time, I wanted a 350Z. All the ones around here, are, they're either super clapped out or they're super expensive now. So kind of sucks. I wish I would have got one a couple years ago when they were cheap, but it's what it is. I kind of got my mind set up on a C5 Corvette now. Next up, we got the Zone Speed T right here. You got like the pinup girl and then you have like a couple Civics and Integra. Big graphic on the back, Zone Speed on the front. I kind of wish I would have grabbed more of these when I got this one because I think I paid like 20 bucks for this T, brand new. And then the last car T that I have is the Powered by Honda. Honda T right there. He's got the little Honda logo, Toltex tag, but it's actually a Civic Type R T. 98 Civic Type R with the big graphic on the back of that one. Sorry if I'm not going too much into detail about them, but I don't want to make like an hour long video. So I'm trying to get through this as fast as I can. But next I'll do the anime stuff, which is mostly Dragon Ball Z. I'm not even gonna lie. So the first one we got is the Pokemon Gym Leader shirt. So this is from the, the TCG whenever they did tournaments. When I was younger, I was super into collecting Pokemon cards. I didn't really actually start playing Pokemon cards until like maybe like 05, 06 probably. Another TCG shirt. My favorite anime of all time, the Yu Yu Hakusho. 
and it's the Team Tagoro one. I mean, if it's not Team Yurameshi, this is probably like the second best one to get. And then on the back, you just have the Yu Yu Hakusho TCG. Next is another Yu Yu Hakusho T. I would have a lot more of these if I could find them, but it's so hard to find these in XL. And then when they do pop up, they're either super expensive or they go quick. But this one, you got Yusuke and uh, Hiei on the front. I would love to get one with cool bar on it because that's my personal favorite character in anime. But like I said, they're just so hard to get. One of my personal favorite animes of all time that not too many people talk about is another. You got the My Masaki T right there. Just think of it as like Final Destination meets Hunger Games. If that sounds interesting, go check it out. And then another one of my favorite animes of all time, the Gurren Lagann T right there. Breakthrough and you got Simone and Bunta drilling through the floor. And now we get into my Dragon Ball Z T collection. So I guess we'll start with the TCG one. My favorite Dragon Ball Z character, Vegeta, collectible card game. And then Dragon Ball Z Master on the back. We got this one right here. Goku and the gang in the back, <laughs> like an olive green. Dragon Ball Z in the front. The one thing I hate about these is the graphic is always on the back of these. That's why I really like the Vegeta one because it has the graphic on the front, but also that's like a card game shirt. It's not really like one of these. The most recent one I got, Dragon Ball Z T right there with Goku on it. And you have all the forms of Frieza behind him. Dragon Ball Z on the front. This one right here, Goku on the back. Shinron, small logo on the front as again. We got the Dragon Ball GT T right there, Super Saiyan 4 Goku. And then on the back of the bottom, you got the little hit down there. Another Dragon Ball GT T, Super Saiyan 4 Goku on the back. Dragon Ball GT on the front. This one's cool. The <laughs> all over like button down Vegeta T or not t-shirt like I said Vegeta is my favorite character and what's cool about this one is that every time that me and my cousin go to any kind of convention or anything he has the matching Goku one that basically the same shirt but it's Goku so sometimes when we go to those conventions we'll wear them together and people always give us compliments on them we got this one right here Goku and Gohan from when they teamed up against Cell Dragon Ball Z on the front we got this gray one right here where it's like a uh, kind of like a 3d print Goku coming through the back Dragon Ball Z on the front. This one reminds me when I first started buying these, I, I think this one I got for like 20 bucks online because it was back when nobody really cared about them. So I was getting them for like tw between 20 to $30. And then for whatever reason, just, they just blew up one day. These Dragon Ball Z shirts are another thing I wish I would have bought a lot more of when I first started buying them. Then we got the Super Saiyan 3 Majin Buu on the back of that one. Buu Saga is my favorite saga of Dragon Ball Z because that birthed Majin Vegeta, who is my favorite character. But then you got the Super Saiyan 3 Goku on the front of that one. And then last but not least, we got the Vegeta T right there, which the graphic is like a felt material. I don't know if it's gonna come up in the camera. And then you got Vegeta on the front. Next up, I'm gonna do the couple of sports shirts that I have right here. We got the Montreal Machine T from 1995, a team that doesn't exist anymore. You got the great one, Wayne Gretzky, the New York Rangers, 1999 T. On the back, you got the great one and all his accomplishments. We got the Magic Johnson all over print, 1994 Rockets T. There is the back on that one. We got the Chicago Bulls five time champion. Champion T right there where he's holding up the five rings on the changes tag. This is something I want to get more of too, these UFC tees. I've had this one for a long time, but for whatever reason, I haven't bought it anymore. We got the BJ Penn Diego Sanchez tee right here. This is when Diego Sanchez was running through the lightweight division, and then he got the BJ Penn, and BJ Penn dominated him. And then he got UFC on the front. That run by Diego Sanchez produced probably my favorite fight of all time, which was Diego Sanchez versus Cl Clay Guida. And then the last sporting tee we got is the Super Bowl Dallas Cowboy Champion tee right there. And that one is on the starter tag. And now I'm gonna do the little miscellaneous stack that I got here. So the first one, one of my favorite movies of all time the dark knight joker t right there heath ledger joker holding up the card and on the back you got the dark knight we got the all over print mgm grand t right here with the lion same graphic on the back as well we got the tasmanian devil jossens t right there 1993 the all over print freeze looney tunes t right there with taz and bugs playing basketball this all over like pirate ship t that i just thought was really cool 1995 amsterdam and then on the back you have the graphic that kind of looks like a qr code one of my favorite tees in my collection we got the all over print lion king t well i say all over print but there's nothing on the back which was a really stupid move in my opinion the pocahontas tee right here disney's pocahontas and then like the animals on there are actually embroidered on the adult swim aqua teen hunger force tee with frylock meatwad and shape not a star wars fan but this tee i do really like so that's why i didn't i did keep it in my collection the darth vader big print tee right there on the front no never underestimate the dark side i got two spider-man tees the first one is this one right here where he's standing on eddie brock's grave i just always really like the graphic on this one and then we got the universal studios 
tie-dye Spider-Man tee right there. Universal Studios Hollywood on the back. And then this one was one of my favorite tees. I kind of messed it up by spilling tea on it. But we got the um, shark attack, like pollution tee, where you got him peeing on the boat and he's saying, let's see how you like swimming in this. Ban ocean pollution. But like I said, I spilled milk tea on it down here. So if any of you guys have like some kind of remedy that I can like whip up to get that out, let me know in the comments. Because I do really like this shirt. I just haven't worn it since I spilled tea on it. And then finishing it off, I have a couple of band tees. Nothing crazy, just a couple of bands that I like. You guys, as you guys know, probably notice I don't have any rap tees or anything like that because I don't really care for them to be honest. The first band tee I got is the 1997 Metallica tee covering the world, Metallica Club 1997. I actually bought this shirt off of somebody who was signed up for the Metallica Club. There's the front graphic right there. It's on a giant tag. He actually had a couple more, but this was the one that I wanted, that I bought off of him. Then we got the Linkin Park tee, the reanimation, the one that had like the Gundam. So I thought this one was really cool because it kind of looks like it's a Gundam tee, but it's a Linkin Park tee, which is one of my favorite bands. It is long sleeve, which I don't really wear a lot of, but when it starts getting colder, I will wear this one. The 2002 Rolling Stones tie-dye tee. You just have the big graphic on the front, and then on the back you have all like the tour dates. The Tool Tour 2006 tee, 10,000 days on the front. On the back you have all of the tour cities. What a wrench that looks kind of weird. Then we got the System of a Down tee, one of my favorite bands. And then last but not least, another tee I recently got, the Slipknot tee right here. If you guys saw that thrift video, you guys saw that someone wrote all over it. It's not signatures. I check, but I still wear it anyway. So that was my vintage t-shirt collection, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy the video. I do have more, but I feel like this is like the only stuff that was really worth showing. A lot of the other stuff I have is like beater stuff or stuff that y'all probably wouldn't even care about. But let me know down in the comments how you guys feel. What was your favorite tea? I hope you guys did enjoy the video and I will see you guys next week with a flea market video again, because I will be going this weekend. Later, guys.